Hi guys, today I'll be showing you all-in-one DVD Reaper app called MacX DVD Reaper Pro. Here, this is the look of the app. This app is one of the best DVD to USB converter for Mac to copy and read any DVDs including the protected DVDs to USB flash drive or SSD and so on. And you can convert your DVD into various formats including MP4, MOV, AVI, MKV and so on with original quality but with smaller sizes. So why do you need a DVD Ripper app? Well, there are a number of reasons for this. First, if you are one of those people who still have a large collection of movies or documentary DVDs, it would be a better idea to make digital copies of those precious DVDs to avoid DVD rot, damage or theft. Second, once you have the digital versions of your DVDs, you can store them on a USB drive or an external SSD which are much smaller to carry around so that you can conveniently play them on a computer, smart TV or screen projector without the need of a DVD drive and space consuming DVD discs. Of course, you can also easily save lots of space in your room and share the digital DVD contents with friends and family family quickly and easily. So now let me demonstrate how to copy a DVD to a USB flash drive or an external SSD directly. So if you take a look at the top here, we have disks, folder, image, clear options. If you have a physical DVD, you click on this one here and you just insert your DVD into the DVD drive. It will detect and show you here or if you already copy it into a folder you can select that DVD folder and use it as well or DVD ISO file in my case I have the DVD ISO file so I click on browse here and click on the ISO file DVD here that I have click open and I just leave it to auto detect click OK and we ask you to select the output profile so you can see a lot of options here that you can convert it to. You can convert it to a normal MP4 video file or for iPhone, for Android, for MOV or a lot more options here. For Mac, they have like MOV, MP4, M4V and so on. And for Facebook or YouTube, you can also convert it to FLV, which is a flash video or AVI. You can also convert it to MKV if you want to. But mine, I just choose the MP4, click on done. And for hardware encoder, you can see here it automatically tick for me because my iMac is compatible with the hardware acceleration encoder. And for my iMac, also it automatically select the biggest number of my CPU core. If you're using current uh, MacBook Pro, you may have a lot more core than mine. So just leave it like that. And in order to convert and copy it directly into your flash drive or SSD drive for the destination folder, Folder here you need to change by clicking on browse here and then you just select the place where you want to save it like I have my SSD drive here external SSD I create a new folder called Mac X movies and then click create click on open so you can see here they now have the new destination folder for it once it fully converts the DVD into the mp4 file it will then automatically transfer that movie into my SSD drive same thing if you're using a flash drive you can also select it but make sure that it is USB 3 or something because you may want a faster flash drive to be able to transfer a copy directly into the flash drive in a faster manner that's why in this case I'm using my external SSD because it's much faster so once everything is done you can just click on run to start so just click on run here so let's see how much time it needs to convert based on the app itself it claims to convert the whole DVD in about five minutes so we'll wait and see I will fast forward this process Okay, as you can see, it's done. So it takes about six minutes, which is not bad. And as you can see that the movie has now been completely converted and copied directly into my SSD right here. Its size is 961 megabytes. So for copyrighted reason, I will have to mute the sound.
So as you can see, the movie works perfectly fine and it's in my external SSD here. I can put as many as I want because my external SSD here, its capacity is about two terabytes. So I can put like hundreds of movies that I have on my DVD, convert it directly into my SSD here and use it anywhere I want. I can also plug into a TV and watch it with my family as well. So this tool is very, very useful for those who own a lot of DVDs. So if you're interested in this app, currently they have a promotion for Black Friday promotion limited offer. So this promotion, if you purchase the Mac X DVD Ripper Pro for one year subscription, it costs $29.90. But if you buy the lifetime version, you will get 15% off and the price is $44.90. So again, you can also test this app out, the free version first, to see if you like it. All the links are in the description below. You can check them out. And once you think this app is useful enough for you, you can purchase the one year subscription or the lifetime version. It's your choice. Okay, that's it guys. This is how you can convert or copy your DVD into your USB drive or external SSD using the app called MacX DVD Reaper Pro. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe for more useful videos in the future. Have a great day guys. See you in the next video.